Hi, this is Deb Elke for Suck Out of America. Today I'm going to be showing you some of the basics of drawing faces for comics. I'll show you some simple tips and tricks to convey emotions and personality in your characters' faces. The tools I'm going to be using today are Sakura Pigma Sensei pens. Pigma Sensei pens have different tips, so you can different kinds of lines with different widths. I'm going to use the number one pen. Drawing faces for comics really only needs three things. You need a shape, like a circle, an oval, square even, or even any kind of squiggly shape. You need two dots for the eyes and a line for the mouth. You make the eyes bigger. It doesn't have to be super fancy or super detailed. You can do a lot with just two dots and a line. But to really convey emotion, you can do a lot by just changing the eyebrows. If you just kind of arch the eyebrow, kind of happy. Put a line over it, it looks a little sneaky. If you put them pointed down, they look angry. Or if you put the eyebrows very high, they look surprised. You can also do a lot by just varying the mouth. For example, you can do a simple smile. You can make a big happy face. You can make a frown. Or you can make kind of a confused mouth. Just by making a squiggly line. You can also do a lot by changing the eyes. So for example, someone who's surprised, their eyes are wide open. Someone who's sleepy, you use two sideways C's, look like they're tired. Someone who's happy, looks like that. Or you can make them look kind of dazed and confused by drawing squiggles. See how different that is? By changing the various th things like the eyebrows, the eyes, and the mouth, you can show different degrees of emotion. So, for example, you can start out with someone who's just kind of irked. Just a little irritated. You can show someone who's much more angry by making the eyebrows more intense and the mouth more intense. Or if you want to draw someone who's just Hopping mad, just furious. Just make the eyebrows really angry. And the mouth is just Arr. And if you really want to make them angry, get some steam coming out of their ears. You can do the same thing by showing someone who's sad. So for example, start out with the eyes and a downward mouth. That's the basic sad. someone who's very sad, make their frown very frowny, and their eyebrows look, make them look much sadder. Or to show someone crying, very sad eyebrows, open mouth, and draw some tears coming out. You can do a lot when you change the eyes, the eyebrows, and the mouth to show different kinds of emotions, different kinds of faces. So for example, someone who's surprised, their eyes are wide open and their pupils are small and maybe their mouth is only a little circle. Someone who's sleepy, their eyes are like little C's, like that. And then you can draw little Z's to show that they're sleepy. For someone who's in love, you can change their eyes to hearts. And their mouths are just kind of squiggly. And more hearts around them. Someone who's sneaky, their eyebrows, they're looking to the side. And they've got a sly, wide smile. Or someone who has an idea, looks very surprised. Their eyebrows are up. And to show that they've had the idea, in comic books, sometimes you just show a light bulb. Or you can do someone who's silly, like making one squiggly eye, 
one big eye, move their eyebrows all over the place, and squiggly mouth. Maybe like little squiggles. Experiment with drawing different faces. Try drawing a surprise face, a happy face, a sleepy face, a face of someone who's in love, someone who has an idea, someone who's sneaky or silly or flirty. Some animators, for example, draw with a mirror by their drawing table, so they'll make faces at themselves and they'll draw themselves. Or ask your friends to make faces at you and see if you can draw them. Or you can also look at your favorite comics and see how your favorite creators draw different emotions and different characters.